Wenzel McGowan is a member and co-founder of the internationally touring band Moon Hooch and inventor of the traffic cone saxophone. And he's on the line with us here just now. How are you doing today? Doing great. Thanks for having me. Now, you've actually written many books, haven't you? Which we'll talk about first of all. How would you describe them? So I had a mystical experience in 2013 that didn't make any sense to me Hmm. because I was was an atheist and started meditating just to kind of deal with anxiety and depression. But I didn't really know that meditation was also a gateway to experiences that are mystical. I mean, that's basically where meditation comes from, right? It has ancient history and traditions. So I had an experience like that and I then couldn't make sense of it. And then I went around traveling the world, interviewing scientists about what do they think mystical experiences are? What is consciousness and and all that? So it's kind of an exploration of consciousness and mystical experiences, both books. Yeah. You say you were an atheist. Are you still an atheist? I don't subscribe to any particular, but I do think that the universe is alive. And that life isn't life isn't something that started with singular cell organisms, but that that that's just an extension of how matter interacts and the driving force that creates the interactions of matter within the framework of physics. That that force itself is life. Which one of your books would you say you're the most proud of? I think I'm pretty happy with the sequence of latent truth because it's it's just a very thorough research project. I, I interviewed dozens of scientists and yeah. spent six years writing this book. So I feel like that's probably my, my biggest accomplishment. The other one was really fun writing. It's a novel. I think with novels, you have much more freedom. The End of Fear, that's the name of it. Yeah. That one is about a homeless person having a mystical experience and going to a mental hospital because of it. And... Yeah, it's a wild story and I had a lot of fun writing it. And also, you've got a board game called Non-Physical, which is a game designed for team building and personal growth. What's the aim of the game? So the aim of the game is to bring people together in a conscious setting where people have the opportunity to open up to each other and help each other out. The game is based on Buddhist philosophy, which is the idea that a soul incarnates, has a, has a human experience, goes through all sorts of emotions, and then finds its identity again as a soul. And in modern terms, that would be consciousness recognizing itself. And so in the game, it's kind of simulated that you go from start to inner peace. That is the trajectory that you aim to go in the game. But then you fall into emotions such as arrogance, self-doubt, anxiety, and so on. And when a player is in one of those emotions, that player shares about those emotions, while the other players help that player get back on the main spiral towards inner peace. Yeah. I mentioned right at the start, that you're the inventor of the traffic cone saxophone. What is that exactly? So the traffic cone saxophone is basically a saxophone with a traffic cone in the bell. Mm. I invented it about 10 years ago in order to create more bass. And since then, my partner and I have brought it to a global audience with our band Moon Hooch and also with our solo projects. And now we find, you know, hundreds of saxophone players around the country imitating that. And I was actually on America's Got Talent with the traffic on saxophone. (laughs) And someone commented on the video saying, oh, this is a big viral thing in India. So I didn't Mm. even realize that people in India are now shoving traffic cones into the saxophone. Yeah, and just looking at a picture of it here, it looks like it would be quite impressive at making it bassier, and does it make it louder as well? It makes it louder and bassier. It redu- it, it, it makes it lower by a minor six, well, the tenor saxophone, the mm. baritone saxophone by a fourth, and yeah. So you get more bass. Have you been out with it in public places? What's the reaction like? It's always like, what is going on? Like, what are you, what, you know, people take out their phones, taking videos or photos. Yeah. And what else is coming up? Have you got more books on the way? I am writing another book. Yeah, it's about cultivating stillness. It's about basically bringing meditation into your daily life. 
because a lot of people say they don't have time to meditate, but meditation is also a mindset. Mm. Like at every moment, for example, right now, we are having a conversation and there's an aspect of us that's aware of everything that's going on. And then there's another aspect that thinks about what to say and how am I being perceived? What do people think about me and all of that? But the fundamental aspect of ourselves is, is simply the awareness that is having the experience. And so meditation is really the process of recognizing that we can step into that awareness that, that doesn't want things, um, but just is aware of things. And so it's just basically a, taking a break from all the noise that we experience as people, right? The mental and emotional noise, the turbulences, the fears, the desires, the concerns, the worries. You step away from all of that and just kind of observe it and accept it at the same time, right? All of this is happening. There's worries, there's fears, there's concerns, there's desires, there's goals. But for a moment, you let that be as it is. And you just watch yourself watching yourself talking about awareness makes you aware of your awareness which is kind of meta isn't it it is absolutely i i like this experiment if you ask yourself what is my next thought gonna be mm. and then and then you watch the next thought yeah and and that's an interesting one because if you do that if you just sit down somewhere and say like what is my next thought going to be and then suddenly like oh there's no thoughts <laughs> and, and yeah. then and then you're having this experience of just oh i'm just aware yeah. there's bir birds around maybe there's a car driving by i feel my feet on the ground and that it sounds so simple that we dismiss that but if we really go back to that more often throughout the day we realize that we become a lot less stressed we have less anxiety less depression and then eventually also more creativity more energy and more happiness yeah well where are we able to keep up to date with you everywhere instagram it's wenzel Sachs at wenzel Sachs. um or you can go to my website which is wenzelmcgowan.org org mm -hmm. and there you can get my board game get my books and get some guided meditations find my music and you can also go to Spotify and look for my music there. Great. Well, many thanks for joining us today. It's been great to chat to you. Absolutely. Thanks for having me.